to start off on the right foot. I'm coming. Zeke, don't forget your backpack. Mm -hmm. And your allergy spray. <clears throat> Where are your shoes? Mm -hmm. My shoes, but I was wearing them. Where in the world are my shoes? Mm -hmm. Would you like me to go in with you? No, that's okay. I'll be all right. Thanks for the lift, Dad. Mm. Well, good luck, Elena. Hey, guys. Check this out. A new girl. Hey, you, it's time to go to class. <laughs> she fell for it. What a dork. Hi. Huh? My name is Patty. And I'm Maddie. You must be the new girl, Elena Potato. Potato? <laughs> That's funny. I bet it's because of your nose, right? It's a cute nickname. It's my last name, actually. Oh, your last name, of course. We knew that. We know everything about everyone. We like to be well informed. <laughs> I better have to oh <laughs> Here's oh. a little welcoming gift. It's a list of our classmates. Yes. Take good care of it. These are the okay people, the so-so people, and those to avoid. There's only one name on your blacklist. Zeke. Who is he? Oh, he's your neighbor, but don't worry about him. He doesn't have many friends anyway. Mm, he's very strange. He never goes out. He's allergic to everything on the planet, but we think it's just an excuse. He's nuts. Yeah, get him to tell you about the monsters he sees. <laughs> he lives alone with his mom and a hairless cat in this contaminated house. He's really weird. Good morning, Miss Smith. It's nice to see you all again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Morning, Zeke. That's him? Interesting. What? Interesting? <sighs> it's him. Okay, are you ready, Percy? Go on, make friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Attention to the mask. I'm allergic to cat hair. Oh, really? By the way, is this your cat? Percy. He was playing with your cat, and then he got stuck in the door and... Yeah, no problem. Bye. My name's Elena. I'm your new neighbor. We go to school together. We're in the same class. Huh. Okay, bye. Uh, hey, nice house. Uh, I've got to shut the door now. The wind is blowing in a lot of dust. And I'm allergic to dust. <coughs> Guy's not weird, he's just plain rude. Percy, let's go. Oh, oh right. Uh -huh. Huh? Huh? Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, calm down. It's just the wind. <laughs> Times have I told you guys you can't play ball in the house? But we Bombo! Give me back my shoes! <laughs> <laughs> ah! All of them! <laughs> <laughs> now, get lost! <laughs> What a girl, that Elena, huh? She's a real snake, I'm telling you! Oh, Timothy, don't be jealous. Wake up, Zeke! She tried to shove her nasty furball into our house just to spy on us! I thought she was nice. Nice? Problem, son? No, everything's okay, Grandpa. That little girl is nice. Ugh, no one's ever gone to such lengths to get to know me. And you don't like that, Zeke? No, no, it's not that. It's, it's just strange, that's all. I say you two should make friends. Right. Isn't she in your class at school? Excuse me. Hey! Get out of my way. <laughs> hey, guys, did you see that? Ooh, Miss Spudnose has lost her kitty cat. <laughs> Spudnose. <laughs> Silly boys. This is going to be a cool year. I can just feel it. Yeah, not only do we get to pick on Zick, we also get to pick on Potato, too. <laughs> Babies. <laughs> Mommy's boy used to be funnier, but he won't get mad anymore. If only we could get him to react sometimes. What mm -hmm. did you call him? Mommy's boy. Why, do you have a problem with that? You know, I really don't like people who make fun of others. Hmm. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah. Well, we don't either. Good, David. But what the... Or keep your mouth shut. You want me to give you the ghoulish stare, David? No, Zeke, we were just joking. I had no idea she was your friend. Sorry for being rude, but that's just the way we are. I agree, violence is nasty, but it's a quick way to get what you want. The world is so competitive, Zeke. Mm. Just don't let it happen again. Hey, of course, but uh, can I still make fun of you? I have a reputation to live up to. Yeah, sure. Well, anyway, thanks for your help. It's always fun to scare David. What was that all about, the ghoulish stare? Oh, that. Boo. <laughs> huh? Well, I still have no idea why you were fighting. Oh, it was nothing. Lost your cat? It happens all the time with Percy, and he is living proof that cats don't always find their way home. Uh, if you want, I can help you with your flyers. There sure are a lot of animals gone missing around here. A lot of dogs. I've got a bad feeling. I hope Percy's okay. Me too. Huh? Hey, 
are you okay? I think so. Come on, my treat. Cheer up, my friend. Cats can take care of themselves. But these puppies are great too. Would you like to have one? I want my cat. But a bulldog is like a cat, except it barks and looks like a dog. Well, if you want, I can take them, Bob. I'll take them with me on my mail route. I'm sure I'll find them good homes. Ah, oh, thanks, Fred. You're a real pal. Uh, is there a problem? Oh, no, no. No, don't! <laughs> Sorry, Alan, I have to go. <laughs> Wait, Zeke, listen to me for a second. <laughs> I need you. Don't run away! Hi there, Zeke! There's a ghost outside. It's following me. A ghost? Listen, there are a great many dogs in danger, Zeke. Go away. Zeke! Go away! Maybe it needed help. But why ask me, huh? Because you're not like other people, and he knows it. Well, what am I supposed to do? Use your gift to try to understand that ghost and see where it leads you. But remember, the search for truth is sometimes too big a job for one person alone. However, you are not alone. You have a brand new friend. And the stair. Use it. Nice friend. I don't need him. I can do this alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah. Do you need a hand putting these up? I want to apologize for today. It's just that I suddenly remembered something I really had to do, and so I had to leave. Sure, I understand. Oh, good. I mean, even if you are totally crazy, it really is nothing to be ashamed of. I am not crazy, all right? I'm not out of my mind. Zeke, I've been meaning to ask you. Is it true you're able to see monsters? Mm, of course it is. Are you making fun of me too? Not at all. I believe in monsters, and I believe in you. Good. That'll make it so much easier for us to work together. Now we know where we stand, let's start the search. Huh? Zeke, help! We need you! is one of many. Someone in Old Mill is kidnapping animals. And how are we gonna find him? We've gotta look around. I'm sure we'll find him, unless he's been eaten, of course. Holy guacamole, Zeke! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A restaurant? It's horrible! Disgusting! It's blah! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. The Old Mill is Old Mill's best-known restaurant. The owner is a little grouchy. His name is Tobias. There he is! Well, he definitely looks like a cat eater. Let's go and take a closer look. Nothing suspicious in here. Let's look through the window. How are we going to do that? <laughs> Don't move, okay? Huh? Ah! <gasps> well? I can't see anything. Ugh. Hang on, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what are you two doing here? Where's Percy? Give me back my cat, you sub-creature of a, a, a cat eater. Huh? You won't get away with this. I, I, I... He's gone. We can come out now. Huh? Oh. Zeke, you're on the right track. Look around you. Huh? Hurry, time is running out! The right track? What does that mean? Where should I look? No, stay! Don't go! Don't go! Don't go! Hey, who are you talking to, look Zeke? around. Here, give me your hand. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my ribbon! Ribbon, yeah. <clears throat> huh? Where did this thing come from? You just noticed it? I've had it tied around my wrist all afternoon. <gasps> but where did you find it? I was looking for Percy and it was lying around in the bushes, so I picked it up. <gasps> <gasps> Elena, this is the bow 
saw one of the puppies was wearing. I feel something's not right. Maybe the mailman gave the puppies to the wrong kind of person. So what else do you feel? Mm. A house. But it's late now. We'll look for it tomorrow. This is it. Okay, and now what do you want us to do? We go in. That, Patty? You bet. What is this place? The house of a very bad person. A person who hates animals. brought you reinforcements. The little girls tell me they saw a couple of intruders go into your house. Yeah, they told me that too, but I haven't seen anybody. Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, but I already told you there's nobody <laughs> here. Hmm. Nobody, huh? Stand back. <gasps> huh? What are you two doing here? Can I read them their rights, officer? Word off the ones you should arrest. You should arrest him. He's been stealing dogs. Boy, what are you talking about? He's a criminal. He stole my cat. Zeke saw him. Hmm. That's quite a stash of letters you got there, <laughs> Mr. Mailman. They're my letters. The dogs, you see? The dogs, they want to eat them. The dogs? But I won't let them. Have you ever been chased by one of those horrible creatures? First you hear the nasty sounds of their claws on the sidewalk. Tickety, tickety, tickety. And then their teeth and... All my life they've been biting me. And one day I said to myself, friend, enough. The mail is mine. All mine. The nasty doggies will never get it. And I won't rest until they've all been sent far, far away from here, once and for all. <laughs> Zanzibar, Sydney, Anchorage. <laughs> Hal, one thing I know is that non-delivery of the mail is a federal crime. Also, I know Rose Jackson is my mother. That's her name here. She was supposed to get this nine months ago. Officer! Officer! We, we did, did our duty, duty, didn't we? So is there a reward? So is there a reward? Of course. You two stop by the station tomorrow. There'll be two tickets to the circus waiting for you. Wait, you can't take him away yet? He hasn't told us where my cat is. Who cares about cats? I hate dogs, that's all. I... Those puppies from the bar, that was my crown and glory. Six in one shot. Bob gave them to you so you'd find them a home. What did you do with them? Sent them right across the ocean. I made them take a nice little dive from the old mill bridge. But oh, I clean forgot to ask him if they could swim. <laughs> We're too late and it's all my fault. I think I can still hear them barking. Zeke, they are barking down there. <laughs> I'm gonna get them. Elena, wait, it's dangerous. <laughs> 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 Now you listen to me! Hey, where did these puppies come from? Some jerk threw them all in the river, but we got here just in time. Ever since I was a little boy, I've wanted to have a puppy. Can I please? Yeah, you can keep them, Mr. Tobias. See that ghost dog? We get it. 
Are they friends of yours? They're my grandchildren, and thanks to you, Zeke, they'll have a long and happy life. Unfortunately, I won't see them grow up, but they're lucky puppies. Goodbye, little ones. <laughs> Goodbye, Zeke. <laughs> shh, shh, everything's okay now, shh. I think we should leave them alone. He's not going to eat them, is he? No, what? what? It's not fair. Everyone's had a happy ending except for me. I still haven't found Percy. Elena, we've got great news for you, dear. Percy's back? Where was he? Had he run away? Was he hiding somewhere under the bed, in the basement, in the attic, behind the sofa? In the chimney. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll see you later. Wait, I haven't finished with you. There are a lot of things you haven't explained to me yet. There's not much to say, really. That's nothing. I don't believe you. You see monsters. Well, I want to see monsters, too, you know. What if they don't want to see you? Oh, see, do you always have to be so difficult? <laughs> Zeke's new friend Elena has shaken things up in the invisible world of monsters. Timothy thinks she's a threat and wants her to keep her distance. Meanwhile, Monster Pod, an insatiably hungry plant, is looming over Old Mill Village. See what happens in the next monstrous adventure.